this building, the people in this building and all the people that have come through this building have been a huge part of my life. And so I just found happiness here and it's a great job. Last Piano Lover's Lounge until maybe another place allows us to do it. Sarah Moore started it at the beginning of 2015, which I believe may be the longest running show in the history of this particular venue. Every month for three and a half years. Cheers, everybody. It's one of my favorite things to do is have a drink with all of you at the same time. I was walking down Fourth Avenue once and I saw a sign in the window. I called the number and, and I was hired on Halloween of 2000. I never dreamed that I'd be somebody like you. I never dreamed that I'd lose somebody like you. Piano is my favorite thing to do. <laughs> it's my hobby, my passion. I love it. I took lessons as a kid. I studied music at the University of Arizona. It's what I love to do, and I love to play for people. I wouldn't consider myself being stuck here. I like it, you know, so I come back by choice. I do other things. I uh, have recently started doing real estate, so that's keeping me very busy, so I have that. It feels good because I know it's a celebration and I have a lot of friends and family here to support me that have always been here to support me. I hope that I've been able to give them some, some feels with the music, you know, some joy. That's what it's about. Nothing lasts forever, and uh, I guess they're finally kicking me out of this place is what's happening. Being forced to leave. <laughs> I've kicked enough people out over the years. I guess it's my turn. And, uh... It's my pleasure to entertain you, hopefully. You're entertaining. I love you all very much. Sarah Moore plays first for a couple of hours or however long she wants. If I'm feeling up to it, I'll play upwards of four hours, I think. I played like four hours and 15 minutes one night, which is absurd. You hear people talk about Bruce Springsteen playing for three hours and how great he is because he does that. I'm still trying to shake off the pain from the lessons I've learned. I just take pride in being able to play as long as possible. I've been here since June 2010, about exactly eight years. If I see Ben Helsing, I swear to the Lord I will swear. I'm just security or door or whatever you want to call it. Let's go tonight. I had friends that worked here that said, don't, don't bar back, it's not worth it. It's not worth the extra money. I'm like, I think it might be worth it, but I still didn't do it. Laziness is part of it, but um, I, I guess another thing was I didn't think there's ever anybody that had been here that long that had just said, I'm just cool, just hanging at the door. He's got velvet pipes, that boy, and he's an incredible musician. He is so talented. Thank you.
I like getting a reaction out of people. I like to make people laugh. If I were a more driven person, I would be like going out to different places and trying to get gigs like these. I should have started doing that back in February, but I didn't. <laughs> Typical Jenkins. Uh, <laughs> this song's called We Didn't Fly the Catcher. Justin, Matt, Sarah Moore, Maybell, Kimmy Wade, Chris Horseman, Aaron Brewer, Randy Lopez. Elaborable tune at last. Why couldn't this place survive? We didn't die to catch it. It was always jumping since we're past the turning. We didn't fly to catch it. Yeah, I've never been in a place where everybody is just so kind. I'm gonna miss everybody. I'll still see them here and there, but not nearly as often. We didn't fly 